Hi guys, I am Ashutosh and today I am back with another tutorial on Pretty Hair. So uh, most of you may know about the Pretty Hair. So Pretty Hair is uh, auto code formatter. So what I mean by that is that it will format the code automatically. Sometimes you get errors and you get commits in the lines in which even you did not have changed anything. So it is because of the indentation of that line and especially in JavaScript, uh, we get uh, all these errors. So, so Prettier is uh, the one of the autocode formatter which is very popular and widely used. Okay, so in this tutorial, we'll create a React app and we'll learn how to use Prettier in that React app, how to uh, import plugin and everything. Uh, also to know more, you can go to prettier.io and you can have a look at uh, the Prettier website. So they support different type of editors like Atom, Emacs, Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, Vim, Sublime and everything. And basically uh, Prettier is used uh, for web applications, but th these are the languages it supports and everything. You will get every information. You can also go to docs and you can uh, have a look at it. So, so to begin with the uh, demo, we'll first create a simple React app we can do that using npx create react app and the name of the app in this case we'll give prettier demo so it will import all the required dependencies and it will create a basic skeletal application for react app After the React application is created, open up the editor. In this case, we are using Visual Studio Code, but you can use any other editor that you that you like. Open up the React application that we have created now in that editor. Open up the terminal and we'll see how that React application looks like. So just run yarn start. It will open up the browser. In that browser, it will load the application. So you can see that it's a simple react application now go back to the editor and here we'll stop this one so this is the basic react application and now we'll learn how to use prettier in this application you can get information about installing the prettier plugin uh, or prettier package uh, in the prettier docs just go to install in the docs of prettier and here you can see all the steps that you need to follow to install the to install the prettier package inside your react application or any other web application using npm or yarn so uh, it's not just useful for the web application you can also use prettier for your editor so uh, in in your editor you can by default set up a auto formatter as a prettier and you can also specify the formatting rules so here we want to use prettier in very popular way and that is so whenever i'll commit my code before pushing to the github repository or any remote repository in github bitbucket or any other version control system so before pushing it i have to commit that that code and while committing it will prettify my code it will it means it will auto format the entire code in this application First, we need to install the npm prettier package. So we can do that using the command shown here. So just copy this command and we'll test it. And it will install the prettier dependency. After the npm package for prettier is installed, you can go into package.json and at the end you will notice that dev dependencies are added. So prettier dev dependencies is added. So now as prettier, we also want to uh, install two more dependencies, two more dev dependencies like prettier. One is husky and another is lint staged. So husky and lint staged both dependencies what they will do 
changes they will track the changes when we are making the changes in this application and it will format the changes or it will help us format the, those changes only which are changed so now you can go to package.json and you can also see that husky and lint staged are also available here in dev dependencies so in package.json we have to define how it will prettify the code when we commit the code before pushing it to repository so here we have to define the hooks that is github hooks which will define a pre-commit it means that it will auto format the code before pushing it or it will auto format the code at the time of commit so here we'll define husky in in husky we'll define hooks and inside the hooks we'll define pre-commit pre-commit will have lint staged and we'll understand what this lint stage will do we'll write about lint staged lint staged will define the com commands which will be executed in pre-commit stage pre-commit means before committing the code it will execute the auto formatting code so here we'll write uh, which files we want to auto format and what is the command to format that those files so here we want to format all the files which are of type javascript css and markdown so this command will format files which are javascript css and markdown and the command to run is prettier write so here we have successfully implemented the prettier in react application now to check that we first need to go to github.com we need to create a repository i will say prettier demo you can give we will give description as this is demo to implement prettier in react application you can you can create a readme file and uh, you can also create a uh, attach a license file with it just create a github repository you can copy the link of the repository go back to your terminal uh, go back to the editor first we'll initialize the git repository we'll add remote origin git rem git remote add origin and we'll paste that link so it has added the remote origin to this application repository now we can add add these changes we can commit these changes first commit and at the time of committing you can see that it is checking whether the changes are there or not so it has uh, detected eight files are changed so it has auto formatted the changes and it has committed the code and then push the code to the github repository go to the github repository and just refresh so you will see that there is a github repository created and you have pushed the code go back to your editor and now we'll change some file in this react application so go to app.js and here after after the header i will add my name inside the paragraph i am ashutosh we can see these changes just by opening up the app locally using yarn start so it will open up the app in the browser so you can see at the bottom that i have written i am ashutosh go back to the editor and close this thing and uh, just see git diff and it will show you that we have only one change click on any one any other line of the code and we'll just give a space or tab just to give a normal indentation so that it re reflects in the change and now if you see the git diff then you will see two changes one we have uh, removed this line and added this line to avoid this type of changes we use auto formatters or auto code formatters 
so that it can so it can format the code and it, this type of changes are reduced so now we'll push this change to our github repository we can do that using first add git add dot then we'll commit it git commit and added name so it will check for the commits and it will change the file just push the code git push origin master now if you go back to the github repository and just refresh the page you will see that we have a we have a one commit 40 seconds ago and when you open that commit you will see that only one line is changed so we have also changed another line which is this one which is automatically formatted and it came to its place so that's it for today guys like share and comment on the video and subscribe to my channel i'll be back with another tutorial next weekend till then stay safe